This episode of the Demonic Compendium contains spoilers for the following games. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to a stitched together new episode of the Demonic Compendium, the show where I discuss the mythology, design, and game history of your favorite Megami Tensei demons. I decided I want to start a new tradition on this show, where every year I will cover a demon that connects to the Chinese Zodiac. And with this being the year of the rabbit, who could be more fitting? So grab those carrots and figure out what Updock is, because today we're talking about the Hare of Inaba. The Hare of Inaba is an ancient Japanese story that's written down in the Kojiki, which is a compilation of myths and stories from different regions and cultures of Japan. The Hare in question was a minor god who wanted to travel from his home on Oki Island to the mainland to see Princess Yakumi of Inaba. To get safe passage across the ocean, the hare got in contact with a shark and proposed a bet on whose family was larger. The hare told all of the sharks to line up so that he could count them for them, but he actually used them as a bridge to get across. After making it to the mainland, the hare made the dumb mistake of mocking the sharks and telling them that he tricked them. So the sharks ripped his skin off, which seems like an overreaction to me. The rabbit tried to clean his wounds, and the sharks told him to do it with the salt water in the ocean, which naturally only made things worse. The rabbit was basically left for dead, and a group of passing gods ignored the hare's cries for help, save for the youngest god, Okuninushi, who helped the hare clean his wounds with fresh water, patch his skin back together, and teach him some healing magic. Now, in some versions of the story, the sharks are actually crocodiles. However, most Megaton games focus on telling the story with sharks. Like, for example, Hair of Inaba's compendium entry from Soul Hackers 2 says that it is known in Japanese as Inaba no Shirosagi. This clever rabbit, written about in the Kojiki, is worshipped as a hair god. Wanting to cross the sea from Oki Island to the mainland, he tricked a multitude of sharks into lining up and forming a makeshift bridge by challenging them to see which of the sharks' clans was larger. Upon safe passage, he revealed his plot to the sharks, only to be captured and skinned by them soon after. He was, however, later healed by a passing god. Design-wise, the Hare of Inaba is one of those examples where the concept is simple and straightforward enough that Kaneko really didn't need to do anything fancy. It's a white rabbit, and you can clearly see where its body is stitched back together after being mauled by sharkodiles. The red eyes imply that it's an albino rabbit, which is kinda neat. And then there's also a Demi-Kids design, where it's a white bunny wrapped up in bandages and has an adhesive medical strips upon its head. Both are cute and straightforward designs that do a good job conveying the story and mythology. As far as game history goes, the Hare of Inaba shows up here and there, and generally has something to do once it does. The rabbit first appeared in the first Devil Summoner game, and is often the highest level member of the UMA race. In Devil Summoner Soul Hackers, the Hare of Inaba had a unique passive ability where it was much stronger during a full moon and considerably weaker during other phases, and also had a unique skill called Moonlight Mochi Making. Eventually, the Hare of Inaba started appearing in more SMT games, including Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey. The Hare has a side quest in Sector Fornax where he's being chased by Alice in a reference to Alice in Wonderland, where she chases down the White Rabbit who actually does appear in the Demi Kids games as a demon named TikTok. Yes, spelled like the app, but that demon and the Hare of Inaba are not directly connected. Alice references the Hare's own mythological background by claiming she will skin him, soak him in salt water, and eventually devour him. Whether the player helps the Hare or not, they will eventually have to fight Alice during this event. Strange Journey also has a special Hare of Inaba that can be unlocked with a unique password. Typing in X hyphen X exclamation point hoy for Hare of Inaba will grant players with a unique high-leveled hair that has the Kamikaze and Diarahan skills. Hare of Inaba also has a small role in Shin Megami Tensei 4, where it appears as one of Hiro Jingu's demons in the Hunter Tournament Finals. Hare of Inaba eventually made the hop to 3D in the mobile game Shin Megami Tensei Liberation D2. The hare appears as a major character in the event A Rabbit's Wish and the Thirteenth Night. In this event, the D2s help the hare collect offerings for a special harvest festival dedicated to Okoninushi, the deity that helped him when he had problems. 
Paravinaba also appears as a boss battle in the Beach episode of the Intermission chapter, between seasons 1 and 2, where he is fought alongside two Amut in what is probably the only time a Megaton game acknowledges that this story sometimes uses crocodiles instead of sharks. The Haravinaba made its first appearance in the Persona series on the 3DS with Persona Q2 New Cinema Labyrinth. After completing the special screening quest, Meat and the Art of Friendship, by defeating Chicken Kid, Ren will be able to fuse the hair by combining Okoninushi with Nigimitama. While the hair hasn't appeared directly in other titles, we do have a few previous mentions of Inaba in the Persona series, with it being the last name of party member Masao Mark Inaba in Persona 1, and of course being the name of the entire town in Persona 4 and subsequent games like the Arena Duology. As of right now, Haravinaba's largest role is undoubtedly in Soul Hackers 2, where it appears as the starting partner demon of Saizo, which is a humorous pairing given all of the shark symbolism in that character's design, from his sharp teeth to the shark charm hanging on his gun. Saizo showcases his connection to the Haravinaba multiple times throughout the game, including it fighting alongside him in the memory seen on the third floor of Saizo's Soul Matrix, and Saizo even discussing his demon partner during one of the hangout events at the bar where he and Arrow try out a traditional Japanese comedy routine. And it's funny that I decided to start covering demons based on the Chinese Zodiac near the start of a new year, because it turns out Atlas already had the same idea and figured the hair of Inaba was a good representative for the Year of the Rabbit. They released an official piece earlier this year where the hair of Inaba is ringing in the new year with Jack Frost, and Morgana. And so there you have it, the Hare of Inaba, the highly haughty Hassenpfeffer harmed by hubris and hacked by hungry hulks and healed by a helpful hero. Did I leave out something you thought was important? Was I just plain wrong about something? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to let me know who you'd like to see me talk about in future episodes. That's going to do it for this episode of the Demonic Compendium and I will see you next time. But be careful while you rest that a demon doesn't take over your body.